History is filled with mysteries. Entire civilizations rise and fall, leaving behind only shattered stones and unanswered questions. But some mysteries are more recent, more intimate. These are the stories of people who vanished without a trace, leaving behind loved ones and a void of unanswered questions. One such mystery unfolded during the Second Sino-Japanese War, a tragedy swallowed by the chaos of conflict, yet whispered in hushed tones even today. In the annals of warfare, disappearances are not uncommon. Soldiers become separated from their units, lost in the fog of battle, or simply recorded as missing in action. But the vanishing of an entire battalion, nearly 3,000 men, is an event that chills the blood. This is the story of the lost battalion of Nanjing, a mystery that continues to haunt the corridors of history. The year was 1937. Imperial Japan, fueled by militaristic ambition, had set its sights on China. The ensuing conflict, known as the Second Sino-Japanese War, would become a brutal testament to the horrors of war. In August, the Japanese launched a full-scale invasion of Shanghai, a bustling metropolis that was the heart of Chinese commerce and culture. The Battle of Shanghai was a desperate struggle. Outnumbered and outgunned, the Chinese forces fought with tenacity, defending their homeland street by street. For three long months the battle raged, the air thick with smoke, the streets slick with blood. Eventually the Chinese forces were forced to withdraw, retreating westward towards the capital, Nanjing. Nanjing, the ancient capital of China, braced itself for the inevitable Japanese onslaught. The city, steeped in history and culture, became a symbol of Chinese resistance. Among the defenders was the 1122nd Regiment, a unit tasked with holding a strategic section of the city's outer defences. Leading this regiment was Colonel Li Fu Xian, a seasoned officer known for his bravery and tactical acumen. Under his command, the 2,988 men of the 1122nd dug in determined to hold their ground against the advancing enemy. Their orders were clear, hold the line at all costs, for the fate of Nanjing and perhaps all of China rested on their shoulders. As the Japanese forces closed in on Nanjing, a dense fog rolled in, blanketing the battlefield in an eerie silence. The air, usually thick with the sounds of battle, was eerily still. Visibility was reduced to mere feet, and an unnerving sense of isolation descended upon the defenders. On the night of December 10, 1937, something inexplicable occurred. Communication with the 1122nd Regiment was lost. Frantic calls went unanswered, replaced by an unnerving static. The silence stretched on, deepening the mystery and amplifying the growing sense of dread. Section 5. A silence more terrifying than bombs. When dawn broke, the fog began to lift, revealing a scene of utter bewilderment. The positions held by the 1,122nd Regiment were deserted. Weapons lay abandoned, ammunition untouched. There was no sign of a struggle, no bloodstains, no bodies. It was as if the earth had simply swallowed the entire battalion whole. A search party was immediately dispatched, their mission to locate the missing soldiers or any sign of what had transpired. They scoured the surrounding area, pushing through the dense undergrowth, calling out for survivors. But their efforts proved futile. The 2,988 men of the 1,122nd Regiment had vanished without a trace. Section 6. Whispers in the wind. News of the disappearance spread like wildfire through the ranks of the Chinese army, sowing confusion and fear. How could an entire battalion simply vanish? Theories abounded, each more outlandish than the last. Some whispered of a secret Japanese weapon, a weapon capable of vaporizing men and leaving no trace. Others spoke of ancient curses, of restless spirits haunting the battlefields around Nanjing. The city, they said, had always been a place of power a place where the veil between the living and the dead was thin. Had the soldiers of the 1,122nd stumbled upon something ancient and malevolent? Section 7 echoes in the mist. Despite numerous investigations, the disappearance of the lost battalion of Nanjing remains unsolved to this day. No concrete evidence has ever surfaced to explain what happened to those men. The official Japanese records make no mention of capturing such a large number of prisoners, and no mass graves have ever been discovered. 
The mystery of the lost battalion is not unique. History is replete with similar tales of mass disappearances from the Roman legion that vanished in the Teutoburg forest to the crew of the Mary Celeste, found adrift and abandoned on the open sea. These stories serve as chilling reminders of the vastness of the unknown, the mysteries that lie just beyond our understanding. Section 8, The Unanswered Riddle. The disappearance of the lost battalion of Nanjing continues to fascinate and haunt, a stark reminder of the human cost of war and the enduring power of mystery. Did they desert, fleeing into the night? Were they captured and their fate hidden from history? Or did something even more inexplicable befall them, swallowed by the fog and the chaos of war? The answers, lost to time, remain elusive. The story of the lost battalion serves as a poignant reminder of the countless untold stories, the mysteries that linger long after the guns have fallen silent. It is a story that compels us to remember, to question and to acknowledge the shadows that lurk at the edges of our understanding.